Okay, so we are back, and let's just touch this blood trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? It's a pretty good guess, I guess. But yeah, welcome back, everybody. Back with some more Wolf Among Us, and you can call me Tandy Kane, or TK for short. Let's look at this piece of fabric here. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Like yourself, Big B. Oh, snap. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Hmm. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Yeah, that's a good that's a good theory. I I would go with that theory. Let's get out of here. Hmm. I don't know, I'm kinda stumped here. I don't know where else to go. I'd leave after check out this area. See, like I have to keep making my mouse go left because it keeps going right. I guess it's because I keep moving. Look at that cursor go! It's really weird. Yeah, okay, uh, Telltale Games, do you want to get on that quick, please? Thank you very much. I'll show the fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Whatever happened to we have a, some time left? I don't. I don't get it. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That's obvious. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? The blood trail. I found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. Of course, King Cole. And he's going to find out anyway. The mayor. So we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag yeah, it. Yeah, might as well. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business Is office. Is Swinehart one of the pigs? Achievement unlocked. A long goodbye. I haven't seen that movie yet. Heard it's really good. What are you blind? What you don't see? There's a line. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> I, I fucking work Fuck. here, man. Like, I get to cut in line. I, it's not, I'm not even waiting in line. Yes, I see. I, I, you 
because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. <laughs> Bluebeard is out of the country Damn as it. we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. I can't believe Ichabod Crane. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Is the acting mayor. Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Whatever. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Does it look Never like mind. I give a shit? Smoke away. <laughs> Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Who the hell are you? Yes, thankfully. He's drinking the wine. Huh. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Who the hell's Buffkin? How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian. Ooh, magic lamp. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Uh, I guess there's no genie. Then what's the point of even having that lamp? Try. Um, yes, I mean, I Let's listen in on uh, her conversation. Seemed a bit excessive. Mm hmm. I have the record right here. Give me one moment. Well, that's not what I have here. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. I keep going with the tarot cards. I'll be sure to let him know. I can. Is the last one going to be death? 
Come on, death, death, death. No. Nope. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? Uh, I guess that means death. He took the card? What? Okay. Cool. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Who's Jack? Interesting that he picked up the tarot card. Snow White. So how about the people that are still waiting outside? Like, what are they doing right now? I don't even know. Let's just take a look at this magic mirror on the wall. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is cow. <coughs> You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? From <laughs> Buffkin. Show me Let's Buffkin. see where Buffkin is at. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Wow. Let's check out the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. <laughs> no shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Let's check out Snow. Show me Snow White. Even though she's just like... 10 feet away. Not much of a request. She's in this very yeah, I know, room. Right. Let's show see me if the, the woodsman's still stumbling down the street. Ah, he's puking. Show me the woodsman. Let's see what he's up to now. Ah, I still puke. Oh well. Nice right, try. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. All right. Nobody right now. I'll Very see you well. later, Mir. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Oh, he's got the books. Never drink and fly. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. She only said the first three books, and he brings back like seven. Oh, what if I used the tarot card? You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Hmm. Interesting. Let's take a look at the books. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. The fable history lesson. Beast. Beast, beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Little Red Riding Hood. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it oh, out. Oh, shit. What happened to Red? The Red Riding Hood's knight in shadow <laughs> armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. And Snow White. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, those dwarves do not look happy. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. They all look like grumpy. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> they all look like grumpy. 
Is that King Hole? Oh, the three little pigs. Colin and his brothers. Hmm. And there's Ichabod running away. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, maybe it's time that changed. This is King Cole. I've seen this Oh, no, before. it's not. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Yeah. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I want to see if I can keep looking at more. Oh, it's the toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I don't know where Badger is from. Okay, let's get out of this. Oops, crap. Did not mean to do that. Back out. There we go. So let's take a look at uh, all these different things. I wonder where that sword's from. Oh, I guess King Arthur. Ah, oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Okay. This looks like the person from the previous book. This looks familiar. Yes. From the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. Let's just take a look at the donkey. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. <laughs> uh, I would like a Bricklebit. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Huh. Good old Toad. That's the thing that we're looking for, but let's see if there's anything else. Nope, never mind. There's nothing else here. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Well... Wow. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. Wow. And they lived happily ever after. It's pretty messed up. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please.
And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Hmm. Well, maybe the mirror will know where Prince Lawrence is, or maybe um, face body. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he's dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince <laughs> Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Damn. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. So you can't find Nobody her right now. Hmm. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. I wonder why they don't have cell phones. Bigby. It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. I wonder if it'll make me choose. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. I'm gonna go help out Toad. It's me, Toad. Seems like he need Toad sounds like he needs yeah, help he needs right help now. Help. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Prince Lawrence looked dead. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Going out the window, and I landed on top. Why are we walking? Why didn't we take the car? You guys made a real mess. Yeah, it looks worse than a day. Is somebody up there? 
Hey. Didn't look like to wait here. It's definitely a person. Shit. Shouldn't have said anything. Scared him away. Damn it. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. There is something on there. Can't get it? No. Should probably get that fixed. Yeah, let's take a look at that and then go check up on Toad. I don't even remember half of this shit. She's inside now. Who's that crying, I wonder? in there, okay? I'm always nice. <laughs> hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. I fucking saw the guy. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out Where first. Are you all right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. Ew. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Insects are like the grossest. It has a weevil. The has cool. a weevil. Is it like a weedle? Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. You're totally hiding stuff. Like, it's so obvious. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just <coughs> fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? I wasn't even plugged in.
There's blood on the wall. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Yeah, do frogs even bleed? I, I don't even know, honestly. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Hmm. Probably the lamp. If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? There's blood on the poker. Could do a better job dusting, I oh, know. So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Just tell me the truth, man. You don't have to hide it. Obviously, we're going to go out the window. It's adventure game logic. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Oh, so we're not going out the window, okay. I thought we would be. That door looks pretty damaged. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in yeah. the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Wow. 
Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face? Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had the go of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Uh, I'm not gonna threaten you. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You wanna tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Damn. <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which huh. is which. They come bulging in, screaming about <clears> something <throat> a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my poor. We even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> Big mouth. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Hmm. Wow, you hit it in the chimney. Whoa. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. With my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and it's give it It's a federal to offense, him. by the way. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way.
I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Uh, leave a like if you can, and I'll see you later with the next episode. Peace.